good morning to all those who are watched and followed and whatever else in this godforsaken program. I started going to church again and they're making a mockery of God's house. I say I sit in the last row and there's a, just a bench right behind the last row. Out of all the seats in the whole church, she sat directly behind me to where I had to move over because I could feel her looking at the back of my head. This is just flat out sickening. And then when church was over, she got up from her little bench and sat in my row and she either picked something up or put something down. Not sure because she looked back at me like, I don't know, she looked back at me nervously and you know like, I guess she didn't think I would turn around. But, that's crazy, like, I don't understand why someone would treat the house of the Lord like that. You know, this is becoming old, very old. It's so old that I had to call the ACLU. Just because somebody decides that they want to change their life, change what they do in life, that doesn't mean that you do all these things repeatedly microwave their brain uh, stalk, follow following convoys you know uh, mob you at the store hit you with their colors Always glow stick green. I would repent before it's too late. You never know when the Lord is going to decide to come back. It's bad enough, you know, Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe not. Maybe I've been in this program longer than I thought. Only because... I say that only because I had a stroke and a seizure on May 20th, 2012. Five months later to the day, my wife passed away. Now this is ridiculous, like, I'm starting to think that uh, I don't know. There's a car horn. It's always a car horn. If you get caught doing this, it's 10 years in prison. If the person dies or gets hurt, it's longer or the death penalty.
I guess people don't realize when you're sober how much you really take notice of everything around you. People, cars, people with animals, people you never even saw before. I mean, it's crazy when, when she got up and decided to sit in the, the pew, uh, it was like, oh shit, he saw me. You know, that was the look I got. But, I don't understand why she would have sat when the father had walked out to greet people on their way out. She's going to start moving, you know, from pew to my pew. All I can say is, is this needs to stop. God sees everything. Microwaving somebody's brain alone to give them health problems? That's a war crime. There's too much darkness and corruption going on. And I, I hope people take it to heart that what they're doing to others has long lasting effects. It's not something that you can put a band-aid on. It's not something that can be healed medically. If they're already diagnosed with certain symptoms and you make them worse. That's just wrong. So for all UTIs, read your Bible, pray, keep your head on a swivel. This is just a disgusting, disgusting thing that, I, I don't know, it's just wrong, like, to make people think that they're crazy, losing their mind, forgetting things, making their head hurt like somebody just stuck a hot pick in it and made it numb. Hacking their electronics. God bless. Have a wonderful morning.